Alright, right here we've got an example of an 80 millimeter spotting scope and a 60 millimeter spotting scope. Um, those are probably the two most common configurations. Um, as you can see, there's a, a big difference in the size between the two. Um, 80 millimeter scope is going to be bigger, it's going to require a larger tripod to support it um, than the 60. Um, and so uh, let's talk about um, some advantages of the 80 over the 60. Well, an 80 millimeter lens, as you can see, it's a, it's a larger diameter lens than the 60, and what that does is it's going to gather more light. Um, so in those um, dusk and dawn situations when you've got low light, um, you're going to get a brighter image through the scope, uh, which will make it easier for you to pick out game and that kind of stuff. So if the 80 um, is brighter, then you probably are wondering, well, what, then why would a guy pick a 60? And uh, so, Paul, why don't you tell us Sure. Kind of why a guy might pick a 60 over an 80. Sure. You've got, you know, you've got two different instruments here, and they, and they both have a time and a place. With the, the size and the weight of these 80s, a guy's always worried about carrying the thing around. You're worried about the weight of it, the bulk of it. When you've got a, a, a big scope here with an 80 millimeter lens, as, as Sam mentioned, the guy's got to match it with a good solid tripod. It's the only way you can really keep these things steady and, and doing their best job. Now, if a guy's going to do a lot of backpack hunting or you're climbing and hiking a lot, the size and the weight of this is just going to rule it out. You know, there a guy's going to look at something like this as a, as a much more practical setup. It's smaller, it's more compact, it fits down in your pack a lot easier. A guy can get away with a short, light, compact tripod that might just weigh a pound or so. This whole thing will fold up real nice. A guy can stuff in a day pack and, and off you go, climbing and hiking all day long with it. Now you do give up some brightness, you know, that's that's the trade-off that a guy makes with this. You know, he doesn't get the same image quality that he's going to get with a big scope, but it's a matter of balancing what you're doing with the scope. <laughs>